Yo, it's Guido coming at you with the Tactics Talk. Welcome back, guys. Thanks for tuning in to World of Tanks. On this episode, we have Mad Dog. Mad Dog, the first of his name from Clan GFLC. And he's driving his Rom Panzer. Rom Panzer on Ruinberg, right? Hey, I got it right. Ruinberg, check it out. We've spawned into the north. He sent me this replay and said, I'd like your opinion. Well, you're in luck, Mad Dog, because I have a lot of them. <laughs> I've got tons of opinions. This is a first look, and what I like to do with good players like Mad Dog when they send in replays, a lot of times I like to just look at it the very first time and I'll comment as I go because I want to see how close I am to their thinking and see if I can in real time while I'm watching it assess what's going on and, and kind of figure out what they're going to do. Now, he's got a ton of guys camping in the back. That is really unfortunate. 268 there. Got a, I don't know what this act is. There's a, at least three tanks in here. That's interesting. And just himself, a Type 4 and a T10 that have gone into town. And he looks like he's looking for a free shot. Nice little nice little shot through the little V there. That's going to minimize the exposure of his tank. This Rompanzer is a Tier 10 hull down tier to Tier 8 with a mediocre gun. It's got that kind of... Oops, let's see if he's got a shot here. Gets a shot here. Nope, doesn't quite get it. Got the... Uh, I don't know, bulldozer blade on the front. And now, look at this. We've got all the goofed up... This happens every once in a while with some replays. I've got the weird markers going on. But anyway, it's probably my computer telling me I need to stop making videos today since I'm on, I don't know what I'm on, number 3 or 4 or 10 or whatever the heck it is. But <laughs> Mad Dog is going to be very careful and just sort of hang out right here. Right? Is that a keg on the back of that thing? I just noticed that. What is this? Are we carrying a keg around? I think it's a gas can, isn't it? Okay. I'm going to call it a keg. So... We've got our keg of beer on the back of our German tank, the Rom Panzer, and we're going to... Oh, look at that guy's doing the exact same thing that Mad Dog was doing further back there. Isn't that interesting? Isn't that interesting? You know what? I'm going to fix these. Hold on, folks. Let me... Why, oh, we're going to go into the garage and get a few repairs. <laughs> Hold on a second. Hey, we're back. The magic of editing will fix that. I don't know why it does that. Every once in a while, I start a replay and it just decides to go goofy. It's supposed to be my settings, not the other guy's settings. So we're going to cross over here, take a bit of a chance against... Ow! Well, we got away with it. We only got tracked. I was going to say a bit of a chance against the low, but I didn't even realize the WT was there. And there you go. So we're going to change what we're doing a bit. Nobody was on this corner, so it's not a bad idea. Might be able to do some side scrape things here. The bummer is that that Tuma, it's not a Tuma that is going to be exco exposed. Exposed first. There's even some... Now there's a 430 back there. This <laughs> got some serious camp a lama ding dong going on in this game. Holy cow. Not really camping, but everybody's hiding behind rubble and in their little notches where they know they can get a shot in exactly one direction. It drives me crazy. So far, though, Mad Dog's team has done an okay job of not getting gobbled up if the enemy team really was paying attention. And I, you have no idea how many of the greens are spotted. But it seems to me they should have a decent idea. They've got a huge advantage in town. It looks like Mad Dog is not too interested in being gobbled up with the rest of them. So he's going to meta flex. And all of a sudden we got a big advantage. And uh, we've done no damage. And I did not fix that. Look, the damage thing is... Oh my gosh, this is driving me crazy. Alright, so here we go. Mad Dog's moving in. He's going to come all the way back around here. Maybe the Progetto 65. This is something you've got to do with a tier... Well, that was a terrible roll. 193. This is something you've got to do with a low tier tank, a tier 8, and a tier 10 battle. Is work around the edges of the battle as much as you can. If you can get into a scrap where you have an advantage, or it's a bunch of tier 8s, then by all means go for it. But the last thing you want to do is get overextended against some tier 9s and 10s, especially in a city map and a medium. So he's going to carefully work around this. Brigetto's at 1%. Yeah, I should have changed it to hit points, but whatever. we got two guys at 1%. How about we kill him? He bounced. Look at the armor of the M48 Rom Panzer. He really wants to kill him now. No, he does not get it. That's an AT. I thought it was a turtle or a tortoise. Down goes the AT-15 crushed by the 50M. And things are looking good here, actually. We're looking good. I guess what I don't have is the totals of what he did down there, do I? I have the individual shots. Oh, boy. What about this guy? 
What about this guy? Looks like he's shot. Gonna do a little track action. Nicely done. Those are low roll at 207. That's awful. One more shot in on. Track him again. Oh, nice. No, and down he goes. There we go. Now we're getting a little assist, a little damage. Not that we would know because my settings changed for some reason. Wargaming, why does it do that? I sneak one into the lower hole, but angled with the Carnarfin, and he does not get the damage. Yeah, I don't know, Mad Dog. I might just charge in there at this guy at this point, right? I mean, where's the hit points? Uh oh. Oof. That was close. <laughs> At this point, you just want to get some more hit points because this is about over. We'll take a look at what he gets at the end. There we go. Oh, no, not quite into the hatch. Maybe a little angle right there, bad angle. I'll try to sneak one in again. Is that hatch a weak spot? Well, there you go. He got it. Uh-oh. <laughs> this guy wants some. One shot, and he takes him down. Well played, Mad Dog. That guy would have done really well if he'd have put his front armor to you. If he just turned that corner, he might have actually bounced that shot that you took. I'll come around and look for the 430. Oh, he's behind the buildings right there. So Mad Dog asked what I thought about it. You know, I think it's a good example of, of a decent, not amazing game. But basically, that's what he was... There we go, a little shot into that guy. That's essentially what you are relegated to in this situation. Tier 10 battle. Is he going to get a shot on him? Nicely done. And he hides behind the Type 4 in the dead tank and takes no more damage. And that's it, folks. Three kills. You know, ultimately, even though the, the damage numbers aren't super high, that, that's a fantastic job by a Tier 8 medium. Moved around the battlefield, was annoying, got shots, took on guys when he could, got the damage where he could, and that's pretty much what you want to do. You know, that really... I'm not going to put it in the master's class, but it really could be a master's class on how to be a f effective as bottom tier, right? Without being completely dominant, right? A lot of times we're going to show videos. Here's my 5,000 damage bottom tier medium, tier 8 medium game. Okay, that's great. But it's more likely you're going to have a game like this where it is a workaday kind of pedestrian game, but definitely added to the entire team. I mean, three kills... Finishing off three guys with a tier 8 medium as a bottom tier is pretty pretty good work in there. So that's what I think about it, Mad Dog. There you go. Appreciate you sending that in. I think it's a good lesson for everybody that you don't always have to be shelling out the three, four, five thousand damage games to come up with a win and be effective and help your team. All right, guys, that's all I've got. If you'd like to support the channel, there's a lot of options to do so down in the description. That's all I've got for today. We will see you.